Analysis of Open Loop Grasping from Piles by Elliot Pyle and Oliver Brock. When we eat popcorn, we can easily pick one or even a handful of them. There is something interesting going on in the object's motion in the pile. Through a complex interaction, we can see that one popcorn in front of my hand is separated and then supported by the rest. We can exploit this behavior to grasp open loop with a robotic hand from piles. Here, when the hand pushes the pile, one of the two tennis balls will be separated due to this regularity. And also, it is stopped by the rest of the balls and the wall, which allows to slide the hand underneath it. We analyze this regularity by grasping without visual or tactile feedback, and we observe that for some object shapes, we can robustly pick a random object from the pile. We analyzed extensively open loop grasping from different piles with different object shapes, masses and different supporting surfaces. And we gained a lot of insights which we presented in the paper. We applied open loop grasping and our gained insights from our extensive experiments in an application. Here in this industrial application the robot has to pick four objects to fulfill an order from the green pin and places it into the red one. To simplify the problem and truly really make it vision-free, our grasping approach, we tilted the green bin such that all objects roll to the left wall after each execution of our grass strategy. And we assume that we know the location of each bin. We were grasping from different types of objects, like tennis balls, apples, and netbacks of lines. An operator executed one out of two pre-recorded motion trajectories. In one case, the hand pushes the pile toward the green bin's wall, and in the other case, it moves toward the corner. Now, we will show a few successful and failed grasp attempts. Even though the robot was not grasping perfectly, we identified the motion pattern in a pile that effectively separates and stabilizes an object for grasping. And we leverage this regularity for open-loop grasping. We observed that these motion patterns depend on the object's geometry, mass, size, and the number of objects in the pile for a given n vector. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.